Roman, sing that so. Is a romance to come. to continue? Will it be my luck to win you? May I look that far? The moon was yellow. The moon was yellow, and the night was young. A smile brought us together, and I was wondering whether we'd meet again. Someday the moon was yellow and, and a song was sung. That vocal inspiration gave me the inclination to give my heart away. Is a romance to continue? Will it be my luck? Will it be my luck mm -hmm. to win you? The moon was yellow. Yeah. Are, are you are you about to answer that call? No, I'm not. That far. You're on TV, man. My love was <laughs> mellow, <laughs> and all my hopes was strong. Around that cupid fellow before that moon was yellow and the night was young. Boom. You wrote that? No. That's a cover. Somebody else. Welcome back to Jeff Kanange Live right here on Citizen Television. I tell you what a guest. If you've never heard of Sal Davis, now you have. Real name? Salim Abdullah Salim. Hey! How did you change that name? Tell us the story. Hey, from Sal, Salim to Sal. Right. From Davis to Sammy Davis Jr. Why him? Loved him. Could sing. He could dance. He could play music. Any kinds of instrument. He was just a talent unto himself. Sammy Davis Jr. So I had to, I had to go along with and him. And you met him? Yeah, I met him twice. One time he was in London at the airport in Heathrow, where he also met Mzee Jomo Kenyatta there. Jomo Kenyatta didn't even know him. He what do you mean? What do you mean he no, met Jomo Kenyatta? Jomo Kenyatta was traveling, was going, getting a plane. Okay. And, and Sammy was told, you know, the old man Jomo Kenyatta is, is there. Oh, he was a short little fellow like this. He had a head like a saddle, big ass one. <laughs> so he, he walked over to Jomo. Hey, Jomo, uh, Jomo Kenyatta, man, I admire you. But, but, this you know, is Sammy Davis yeah, Jr.? Yeah, Mzee Jomo Kenyatta, we're not in this <laughs> I met him and then I met him again in Paris. I met him in London. He was performing at the Pigalle, placed in Swallow Street near Regent Street. Mm. So I, I, I met him. Did you want to be like him? Is that obviously yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Talent wise. Mm -hmm. The man is too good. It's like I want to be like my, well, not like want to be like, but I like to have a talent of my daughter. Maya. Maya. Von I tell Leco. You, she sings. She writes. She records herself. She plays music. First time when, when she wanted, she wanted a clarinet when she was young. I bought her a clarinet in London and I sent it to her. Then she wanted a piano. I bought her a, a, a piano. No, she's just a talent. Onto us. She doesn't even know it. She doesn't know? No, I swear she doesn't know that she's genius. But look. Look at the DNA. No, DNA, this one, is just noise maker. I mean, I wasn't that, you know, really, I'm telling you, well, talent is talent. Yeah. If you expose it, you bring it out. But in comparison to Maya, there's no way I can. Really? No. You, my, need, you need to push her then. Yeah, my son is also like that. Yeah? Abdullah. But, she, but he is involved in something else. He's involved in, like, movies, directing and oh. producing. That oh. kind of thing. He's in Los Angeles at the moment. And I'm going to meet him on the 15th of this month or 20. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in Oman. In Muscat, because my, his mother lives there. Okay. Then, you know, uh, uh, let me tell you one thing. Hey, I want to congratulate His Excellency the President. Uh -huh. I'll tell you why. Go on. For opening the doors for the Tanzanians, for the Burundi. I mean, the guy must have a lot of this. Because by doing that, he's put the ball in somebody else's court. So what you're saying, basically, with, uh, you, they can arrive in Kenya, no visa required. No visa, nothing. Visa at the airport. I was having problem with my wife, because my wife is Tanzanian, Fatma. 
So what happened is every time she comes through the border, so you know say I'm staying for three months. Because I'd never done the uh independence pass. Yeah, yeah. I I'm, I'm a lazy human being. So I didn't do that. You know? right. So she just comes in and goes out, comes in and goes. She was born in Dodoma. She now lives in Dar with her kids. There's Ida, there's Barbara, there's uh, Nuru, Sandra, you know, and my grandkids. They're not really, well, they're mine. Yeah. Because I'm married to the, Correct. the grandmother, so yeah, they're yeah. mine. But uh, that's the family I have. So, so now, no problem now. She just walks right in. Walks right. The Burundians and the, I tell you, Uru, you, you got plenty of this. I must. There's a song it. you sang for him, didn't you? Yeah. Well, it wasn't for him. It was for his father. Go on. Where did, how did that go? Ayaya Uhuru. Ayaya Kenyatta. Kenya Uhuru Tumepata. Mambo Yata Kwenda Bila Shaka. Kenya Uhuru Tumepata. Mambo Yata Kwenda Bila Shaka. Ayaya Uhuru. Ayaya Kenyatta. So when I presented that song to Kenyatta, it was a Lancaster house. They came there, 63 or 62. No, 62 came to Lancaster House. Yes. I wrote that song at that time. Because because uh, Tom was sure he was going to be the chairman. Tom Boyer. Yeah. And he said to me, Sal, I want a song. So I said, yeah, Tom, that's a simple thing. So I wrote that one. Then, hey, let me tell you how, how smart I am. You know, East African community, mm. nobody even thought of it. And I said in my song, Africa Mashariki Yungani. Sing it, man. Don't just want to. Kwa mikono mine. Nyerere obote. Kinyata shamte. Shamte was deposed in Zanzibar. In Zanzibar. And the song was obsolete. They said to me, sing it again. I said, no, I don't want to. Leave it. So Makini, the second side, became a hit. Let's go back to 63. So, you, you, he, so Tom Boyer yeah. asked you to write a song right. to perform at the Jamuhuri Day. Yeah. At that time, not Jamuri, my independence celebration. That's Jamuri, December 12th. No, it wasn't called Jamuri at the time. Jamuri is now. At the time, it was called uh, independence. What Jamuri? Is it called Jamuri? No. I guarantee it's not called Jamuri at the time. Jamuri, Uhuru, when Uhuru Kupatkana, 12th of December. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But anyway, yeah. cut the story short. We got independence. I wrote a song. We, we flew in. Uh, alongside whom? Yeah. No, they came later. Maria McCaba? Maria McCaba and Harry Belafonte, they came later. We all stayed at the Norfolk Hotel. But Tom was the instrumental of Did you that. all perform together or separately? No, we didn't perform together. Because I perform at the Civic Ball, because we, we, we divided ourselves. Uh -huh. they, I perform at the Civic Ball. Yeah, at City Hall. Yeah, City Hall. I perform there. Uh, Belafonte performed Maria McCaba, I think, I don't know, somewhere else. I can't remember now. <gasps> I'm too old. So you didn't sing Malaika with her? No. I sang Malaika by myself where they heard it. Now the other day I was telling I was telling uh, the president when I was having lunch with him. Uh, you're not just name dropping here. No. I mean you're just saying uh, name the other dropping. day I, I just... don't I don't have to drop names, man. I'm a, I'm an old guy. I'm seventy six. Well you just said well, you're having lunch yeah, with the president. Yeah, I was. The man invited me for lunch. Do I say no? What? The president invited me for lunch at at Mashuja Day. How, how can, can I, I say no? Monica, how come I never get lunch invitations? Yeah, yeah well, because you're not a legend like I am. Oh, <laughs> you got to be a legend. <laughs> but anyway, I had lunch and I told him. I said, Mayor McCabe and Belafonte heard that song. Because the way they did it, it wasn't the way it was written. It was the way I sang it. It was written, Malaika, Nakupenda Malaika. Very standard. Mala, Mimi, I changed it. Wo malaika nakupenda malaika namini fanyeje kijana mwenzio nashindwa na mali sinawe ningekuoa malaika and then i you see every time i travel i said to you before mm. every time i travel i sing that song right and i tell them ladies and gentlemen i'm from east africa let me sing your song from my country I sing that. And then I put some English words into it. I wrote words and put in there, Angel, I really love you, my angel. Mm. Oh, my angel, I really love you, my angel. 
What more can I do? I'm in love with you. I'm poor. I got no money, but I would love to marry you. Mm. So you see, that kind of thing. Yeah. Was Fadili Williams the original writer? Listen, you're going to get me in trouble because he was not. No. The guy who wrote that song, his name is Gideon Charo. The guy, they used to go here to uh, uh, Frank Worrell. The name of the guy used to sell ice cream. At the back of that, he had drums like this, guitars, and the guys were poor. They used to go to Frank Warrell at the back there and play, and, da -da, and Gideon wrote the song. By the time he became famous, Gideon had died. The boy died. And Fadili claimed it that he wrote. How come he never wrote? If you're a good writer of songs, what other song has he written? Hmm. The Beatles have written... Uh, Countless uh, songs. 500 songs. Countless. Countless. So because they're talented. Yeah. If you're as talented and you can bring out a song like Malaika, you can bring out other songs. He didn't bring out any other song because he's, he, that wasn't his. I'm sorry to say. No. And maybe other people might say, oh, I, th I think you're I'm just putting him down. You just I'm corrected not. some history right there. I told you before that, that that was not. Fadili was not the one who wrote that song. Wow. Yeah, he did. Sal, so, on Koinange Street, you had Sal's spot, right? Sal Davis Night Spot. Sal Davis Night Spot. They've broken the thing, man. Can you the imagine? being brought down. Which was later called Florida Nightclub. Yeah. No. No? Yeah, yeah. Florida later. First it was Bonanza. Bonanza? Then it became Sal Davis Night Spot. Then it became Florida Nightclub. And you owned that club? I didn't own it. I leased it. I rented it. Then I sold the club. And made some money. And tell me some of the people who used to come visit you at Sal Davis. Oh, that was the only nightclub in town. Really? I'm telling you the truth. All the big guys that you know, the big shots. Go on. Were in that club. Go on. And that club was decent. I didn't allow women by themselves. That's how... Uh, on Koinanga Street? Yeah. I Are you kidding me? Koinanga Street now became what it became. <laughs> <laughs> but before that, it wasn't that at all. It was just a, a, a kind of a, a, a street. Yeah. You know, and downstairs I had my yellow cabs. You know, I started yellow cabs. Sal Davis yellow cabs. What? Yeah, man. Listen, I was an em you entrepreneur, <laughs> my friend. You were rolling. Yeah, entrepreneur. Coming back to names. Barack Obama Sr. Yeah. Uh, he was in that club every night. Don't get me involved. Like, the guy died with my money. What are you talking about? <laughs> He, he doesn't owe me that much no, money, but, no. but the beer he drank, he didn't pay. So, I thought it was whiskey. No, he drank beer. Oh, he drank a lot of beer. Whiskey? No, no. Beer. He gets one beer, uh, Barack, quiet, two beer. And he used to come, hey, I'm worried about you, man. What's happening? With that waist. Uh, he used to come with waistcoat and everything. No. By the time he's had three beer, four, the waistcoat comes open. The tie is all open. <laughs> I say, Barack, go home. He had an accident, you know, a car accident. I know. Yeah, God well, rest his soul. Yeah, me too. But was he a nice guy, though? Fantastic human being. Big he voice. Had a, he had a deep voice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so sing me the song. And I would get up and sing a song for Barack. You know, he didn't know his son is going to be a president. Look at that. I bet you stayed alive. <laughs> if, I, if I knew my son is going to be the president yeah. of America, yeah. I would have stayed alive by hook or by crook. <laughs> I can tell you that. I'm not lying to you. I but hear he, you. He didn't know. No, he didn't know. He didn't know. Man. Who else? Mwai Kibaki? No, he, uh, was a friend. Was a friend. Well, did he come to the club? No. no. Mwai never, not that, yeah, he liked music. He, he liked dancing. He came once in a while. Tom Boyer? A lot. Tom came? Yeah, a lot. A lot. Did he like the Tom, club? Yeah, a was lot. Was he a good dancer? He meant, and Pamela. Pamela were friends. You know, I was a friend with Tom yeah. and Pamela. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they came. They came. Club, club was was the number one club in town. The place to be. Yeah, number one. There's no other club with that kind of music and a host like me. What was he like? Huh? What was he like, Tom? Uh, uh, I tell you, smart. <laughs> Tom would be talking to you and looking that side. I mean, he was he was a, a proud man, a lovely human being, but you know, he's the kind of a guy that he doesn't accept any any BS. Any BS? No. Yeah. He doesn't accept any rubbish. No. If you don't talk to him seriously, you know, I tell you, when he, he came to London and he called, he called, he came to the East Africa House. We had to have a, a place called East Africa House mm -hmm. on number 36 Great Cumberland Place. Mm -hmm. So that was the time. Even Charles, your friend, hey, where is uh, Charles, man? Sir Charles? Yeah, Sir Charles. He's around. 
Man, I thought we haven't seen him, man. Yeah, he's, he's been a little sickly, uh, yeah. not too well. We miss him on your program, I man. I know, man. I keep asking him to come on, and he keeps standing me up. All my all my friends, they're asking me to tell tell Jeff Koinange, Sir Charles. There's a guy called uh, Wachira Gitumbi. Mm. He's, uh, there's a guy called, you know, a lot of my friends. Today, if you want to just call here, yeah. Mariah call. Uh, Mariah. Yes. Uh, just call. Is this at the Nyali Golf Club? Yeah, Nyali Golf All of them will be listening, watching this yeah. show. Uh, and they want to uh, see Sir Charles? Gideon, uh, Dan, uh, who, what's his name? KK Kuria. Uh. Uh, what's his name? Uh, a lot of people are going to be watching. They're all watching you. Yeah, Ben Murithi. Yeah. Uh, uh, I tell you. Are these all your golf mates? All my golf mates. Just like you mentioned, you dropped another name earlier on. Which one? SK. Macharia, oh, but that was years, years, years. You, you played? Macharia Mudaiga here. Come on. Yeah, I think one or two rounds. But he's with a friend called Peter Ngugi Gathia. That was his partner. They used to play golf every day, practically, in you, the morning. You know he owns all of this, huh? Well, I mean, you know. So. He, you know. He's the man. But. Somebody's calling. But I'm not Somebody's gonna, calling. I'm not gonna. Don't uh, they know you're on TV? Hey, man, I'm on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Who's it? Who is it? Man? Look at this. So uh, back to the club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, golf club. Oh yeah, my, let's yeah. Yeah. During Madu, Madu papers. Madu, yeah, let's yeah, Madu fantastic, papers. fantastic. He's done yeah. a good job. Anyway, listen. So you said London, Tom comes, you're at East Africa House. Yeah. What happens? That, that's when he came with all this. And then oh. I went to see him at Cumberland Place. Because Cumberland Hotel was next to that place. The Cumberland Hotel. So I go there. Yeah. And that's when I saw him. Sal, what was your first big break? Or did you know you were musical from the start? Did you know you had this? Oh, no, I started here in Mombasa, man. Were you any good? No. I was rubbish, but... Is that your phone ringing? Yeah. Should I turn it off? What are you on? I mean, I'm on TV, what is man. What is the, what's the name on that? I mean, tell him, listen, man, I'm on TV. Yeah. Well, let me go turn it off. Ah, Thubush. He said, Thubush is a friend. He says he knows you. So Thubush he doesn't know this is live TV? He doesn't know. Thubush. He doesn't. Hey, Thubush, don't call. Yeah, you know. Yeah. He says he knows you <laughs> if, uh, with your, uh, the, his mother yeah. and your mum. We're very good friends. Yeah? Yeah. Is that Thubush again? No, that's Kaburu. I'm turning it off. <laughs> okay. Oh, these so, guys are calling, man. All right, all right. Did you know you oh. had this talent? Yeah. You did? Was, yeah. I was, you know what I used to do when I was a kid? I had what you call mandalino. Mandolin. I used to carry it like this and go around. I couldn't play any songs except Indian song. I used to play Awa Rahu, Awa, Oh, Merija, Na Merija, Nisande, Kisande, Ana. You know, so I was a small, and all the kids used to follow me because I'm the you, you the pipe, pipe. Yeah, yeah, I was a pet pipe, pet pipe. You know, Gilbert photo, who's Gilbert photo? So. Yeah. Do you know how to switch off that phone? I, I, I'm trying to, man. Shall, shall, shall I give it to Exion over here? I'll switch it off. Power off, power off. Ah. What kind of friends yeah. do you have, man? Like, what, 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 look, there's another one coming in. Eric, go down. <laughs> anyway. The Pied Piper. Yeah. Yeah, I, I used to carry this mandolino. I'm not kidding you, I swear. Carry the mandolino. I'm a little kid. But all the little girls used to follow me around. The boy, Sal, play, piga ile nyimbo bana. Ile awarao, awarao. I would do a song called, La pagi, la pagi, tu pagi bagaria. La pagi, la pagi, tu pagi bagaria. Dar ki teke, tul bagaria. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was a kid. But I, the kids used to follow me like I was uh, uh, sweet on uh, uh, honey. Is that right? Yeah. Well, that's how I started. So I knew I... I tell them. The, then I went to school. Yeah. And the Goans have one thing about the Goans. They love music. There was a teacher there, a musical teacher called Nelson, Mr. Nelson. And he started teaching me to play violin. Violin. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I learned it. Mm. You know, I learned, I learned, I learned. And I knew a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Then they were having shows. So they insisted on me singing a song, Brown Skin Girl, Stay Home and Mine, Baby. Oh. And I, I dress like a, like a girl, a, a boy from, 
from the West Indies. Yes. You know, and I, I knew I had talent. Then I went to England. That's where the rubbish started. What rubbish? This rubbish. Yes. <laughs> you can see now. This is where it's So, started. the big break. In Belgium. What happened? Unchain my heart. How? I mean, no. There's a talent show. Before. I know. A talent show was in Manchester. Yes. I was with Mazrui, Ali Mazrui at the time. Are you related to him? Oh, ah, come on. I did a whole Mazrui show with you here. What are you talking about? I, I, I stayed in a one same room with Ali in Manchester. He was your uncle? No. He is a brother... A relation of my sisters. Okay. I told you that. Yeah. Nindugu and Dugu. Aha. So you're in Manchester. Right. What happens? Talent competition. I said, ah, friends of mine, ah, come on, Sal, you okay? You will win. I said, stop this rubbish, man. I win what? Now, I, I didn't know anything. So I went there and I said to the guy, listen, I want to get into this talent competition. The guy said to me, he said, you're a singer? I said, well, no, but I mean, I want to do it. Okay, come here. Come here, kid. Kill kid. Come here, kid. Yeah, so I went. What do you want to sing? At that time, the rage was Belafonte. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'm going to sing Island in the Sun. So the guy said, what key? What? What key? Heck, man, I don't know anything about keys. And sing it. <laughs> sing it a little bit. So I went, this is my island in the sun where my people have toiled since time begun. I may sail on many seas. The shores will always... Be home to me. That guy said to me, hey, you've won this competition, I can tell you that. I don't even, I don't even got up on the... You're practicing back Yeah, home. no, I'm giving him my... Your key. The key. <laughs> the guy said, hey, there was no guy who was going to beat you <laughs> singing like that. And I sure think, enough? I won it. I got 10 pounds, I think. Then I went and bought some souffrias for the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. Oh. And from there? That's where it started. The guy who was playing the piano, his name is uh, Dick Katz. He said to me, look, Sal, you want to come become a singer? I said, no, I'm in school, man. Stop, I'm going to school. He said, when you finish your schooling, will you come to me? Here's my card. I'm going to be a manager soon, and I need talent like you. I said, okay. So when I finished two years, whatever I was doing, I decided to go and see him. I went to see him, and that's how he started. First show, he, you know, people don't realize, uh, Jeff, and I'm not joking when I tell you this, is that singing... It's not just like what we hear, and I'm singing a capelago here and all this rubbish. It's not singing, man. You're going to stand up somewhere yeah. and entertain people yeah. for one hour. Correct. You better be good. You better be good. You're going to entertain people for 45 minutes. You better know what you're doing. Because those people have paid money there yeah. to come and listen to you sing. And you are going to come up there and do what? And mess around? Exactly. They'll kick you out. Definitely. What does the tweet say? Richard Kimenyi. Yeah, Kimenyi. I heard Norfolk. It. Yeah. Hey, the man, I know him well. Yes. Kimenyi. What's he saying? He's saying he wants to hear Unchain My Heart. A, buy a song. Buy it. <laughs> Tell him to go buy, buy the record. <laughs> well, Kimenyi, go buy the record. Stop the cheapy, cheapy thing every time. <laughs> He's a friend of mine. Right? I know, I know, I know. I've know. known him for a thousand years. Yeah. Like, I mean, he's been, is he still in Norfolk? No, he left. Yeah, he left. Yeah. I've known him for a thousand years, that guy. Man. I know. And for Wait. a thousand years, he was general manager. I yeah, know. Oh. All right, there you got your song. Go on. Please be. Unchain my heart. Because you don't care about me. Yeah. Unchain. You got me sitting like a pillowcase. Bum, 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 bum. When I know I'm, I'm gonna, gonna waste so a chain, my, my heart, baby, baby set, set me, me free. free. Oh, unchain my heart. Oh, that's for Kimemi, yeah? Kimemi? Najib Balala. Hey, my my minister, man. I don't know if he's already. Is, is he, is he's he, still CS for now. He, uh, it looks like there's no change yet. No. He's still cabinet secretary. Let me tell you one thing. Yeah. The respect that this man gets in Mombasa, mm. Najib. Mm. I before used to be angry with him for what happened to me, where I lost, where, where I, before. But now, yeah. the, the respect that I have for this man, you know, uh, he's proven, he's a kind of a guy that that can can do things. I bet you who likes this man. Mm, he does. The reason is, and this no, man works. Yeah, the, works. Exactly, exactly. He works. And let me tell you another reason. He doesn't talk bad about anybody. I guarantee you that he doesn't go to Uru and says, you know one thing? 
yeah, that, that fellow there, the minister, whatever, is rubbish. You know, he's talking about... Yeah. He, nev he never bothers no. about anybody else. No. He, but go him, he goes to work. I love him. I, now he's, I love him. He says Sal Davis is a true legend. Yeah, well, thank true you. legend. Yeah, thank you, Najib Balala. Honestly. Uh, Bruce Odiambo. Bruce Odiambo. Super producer. Yeah, you told me. Super, super producer. Tell him I want to do a song with he... But no, I've got... Uh, Tabu wants to do it with me. You know Who, Tabu? No. You don't know Tabu? No, who's Tabu? Uh, Tabu is a friend of mine and he wants to, uh, to do the song. Which song? Uh, the, the one I told you. Of, uh, 50, it was done about 50 years ago. The, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? I forgot about it. With his little mandolino and a twinkle in his eyes. Signorina. You can win oh, always for another guy. Italian love is called. Wow. And I want to change a bit, put some, but I want to do it on a beat. You know? Yeah. Well, Bruce says that man is a true Kenyan legend. Wow. He says, pass my love and respect to him. Thank you very much. Cousin Brucey. I call him Cousin Brucey. Cousin Bruce. Yeah. We, we got to get together. You know, you have to. No, really, I'm serious. Does Maya know you? I'm sure she does. She better. Well, tell Maya then to arrange because Maya is the one arranging this song for me. Ah, she's a genius. You performed with her, haven't you? Ah, she's the best shows I ever did were the two shows that I did with my daughter, the one at the casino, yeah, and the one at Mutaiga Golf Club, Mutaiga Club, Mutaiga Country Club. Yeah, Country Club. Both. How was that? Oh, I've never had so much fun, so much good sh show. Is that right? With my daughter. Seriously? Yeah. And we're gonna do some more. And you brought the house down. Uh, yeah, but well, we did. We be, we're gonna do it. Two, yeah, two, two more shows. Kiprono Kitoni, you know him? Yeah, oh, very much. You know Kip? KK? Yeah, I know him. He says this guy I know is the coolest. I used to know his father. Too. Is that right? And and, 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 and the mother. Zipporah. Yeah, Zipporah. Yeah, 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 I knew them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew them. I play golf with. His, uh, is that right? What's his father's name now? I mean, he's gone. I think. It, uh, yeah. Father died, but yeah. But the mama is high. Yes, yes, wonderful lady. Yeah. Kip says you're the coolest. Thank you very much. You're the coolest. Thank you. I'm telling you, man, tweets are coming in thick and fast. Hey, bring him in, man. Let him come. <laughs> yeah. Maya von Leko, there you Oh, there she is. Uh -huh. Sal, are you, uh, are you performing on live, Tuesday? Live in the That's Maya. Is that Maya? It's Monica, just, is that Maya? Start the Tuesday bit, man. Don't get me in trouble, man. You bring it there. There she is. That's my daughter. That's your daughter. Yeah, yeah. She's a fan. Yeah, mm. She doesn't know she's a genius. Mm. I swear. She doesn't know she's a genius. Oh. Yes. She doesn't know she's a genius. Mm. I tell you. Oh, we're going to take a commercial break. Listen to Maya Von Lecko. She's a genius. She's a genius. Sal Davis's my, daughter. My daughter. This is your DNA. Yeah, yeah. You are you can watching. Tell from that bloody nose, big nose she's got. There. <laughs> <laughs> like mine. You did not yeah, go there. Yeah, you, can, you can tell that <laughs> she's, she's got daddy's daughter. nose. Oh yeah, big one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're watching Jeff Kanyenge yeah. live right here, Citizen Television. You've We're never had this much fun, have you? I know we haven't. Yeah. This is fun. I'm just. Kidding. This is good stuff, man. <laughs> this is really good stuff. We're going to take a break, come back, read more of your tweets. By the way, a very good cousin of mine called David Waiganjo Koinange. David Waiganjo? You know him? But he must be an old guy now. He's not that old. No, no, Waiganjo. David, I know him. Big guy. He's the minister's son. You know the minister? And, uh, uh, minister of state. Mbiu. Mbiu Koinange. His son. Oh, okay. Waiganjo. I don't know him. You know what he says? He says, Sal is the bomb. He's my hero. Oh, thank you, thank you. Why Ganjo? Why Ganjo? <laughs> My man. <laughs> Let's take a break. Come back. I tell you, we are having so much fun here today, Sal. Oh, I tell you. Oh, tell you. you gotta love it. Sal Davis, it's one on one. All, it's worth all the money you paid to bring me in because <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. The money, but yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna get it. Hey, Carl Halla. Yeah, yeah. Carl Halla. Yeah. At uh, Ole Sereni. Good guy. We're gonna. Do, I told Maya to get in touch with because he, we, he, Maya knew the other manager. Before. Yes, but Carl is a good guy. Yeah, I don't know. Carl's I great. told Maya, Maya to go get in touch. There. With, yeah, 
We're gonna we'll be back to do shows there. Plenty more ahead. At least one or two shows. So Jeff Kinange Live is back in a moment. Hey, we'll be back. Jeff Kinange will be back in a moment. Live. Live. <laughs>